cool things? Watch this craft hack selection to find fresh ideas for your DIY projects. I have hundreds of brilliant ideas in my head. What should I craft first? A home Ferris wheel for hamsters? A wigwam out of pens? A Statue of Liberty out of knives? I've got it! I will make a candle holder out of forks. Take three forks and bend them using pliers. Tie them up with a rubber band and stand in a tripod. Decorate the rubber band with a ribbon. Tie a bow. I arrange a beautiful decor detail with a slight movement of my hands. Who's a genius? I'm a genius! I show my design item to my friend, but she doesn't appreciate my idea. I will insert a candle into the DIY holder to demonstrate my creation. But Curly Sue grabs a fire extinguisher just to be on the safe side. The shaky construction scares my friend. My friend decides to decorate a shelf with a pineapple. But a fresh pineapple would be more appropriate in the kitchen. And we can make a creative decor for the living room. A pineapple-shaped candle jar. Use a sponge to apply yellow acrylic paint to a glass jar. Paint check marks with black paint. Make it look like a pineapple peel. Cut out two details for a leaf out of green felt. Cut a straw. Hot glue two halves of the leaf and hot glue a piece of the straw inside so that the leaf doesn't fall. Hot glue a few leaves like this to the jar lid. Put an LED candle inside the jar. Paint the lid in green. Blondie is bewildered. Where's her nice pineapple? But this candle jar is even better. Moreover, it can last for ages and won't go bad. And it is better to eat a real pineapple. Blondie's signature fried egg recipe is way too easy. Take a hot glue gun and acrylic paint and start creating. Are you saying this is inedible? Certainly not. But it's so creative. A decorative fried egg and colorful pasta on a vinyl record. Vintage and modern. It can make a wall centerpiece. Cover a piece of parchment paper with fatty cream. Make a glue blot with uneven edges. This will be the egg white. Smooth the glue by holding it above the flame. Make a hot glue circle on another piece of parchment paper. This will be the egg yolk. Smooth out the surface by holding it over a candle again. Attach the glue disc to the center of the blot. Take the entire detail off the parchment paper. Make thin glue strips. Take them off and attach to a vinyl. Let's add some colors. Paint the fried egg the way it should be and paint the thin glue pasta in different colors. We've got a real designer masterpiece. Maybe we should make an entire collection of silicone dishes. What about hot glue pizza? But for now, we will hang our picture in the kitchen. The fried egg looks great, not only on a plate, but also on a wall. I adore cactuses, but real plants are way too prickly. This is why I've come up with a harmless hot glue cacti. Draw a cactus silhouette on paper. Put clear plastic on top of the image and smear some fatty cream over it. And fill the cactuses with hot glue within the outline. Take the details off when hardened. Add more volume from the underside where they've been attached to the plastic. Paint one cactus with green nail polish. Cover the rest with different shades of green acrylic paint. Add such details as bulges and spines using a thin brush. Fill a decorative bucket with large chunky sea salt and stick in the cactuses. Whoa! What is it? Lovely little cacti have settled in our kitchen. They are so cute! I need to water them, but these cacti don't need water. The small decorative plants will make any interior beautiful and they will feel at home on the kitchen table. 
Sitting in front of a computer for a long time is tiresome for my body. It's high time to take care of that part of the body I'm sitting on. You can put the papers you've been given for learning onto your seat. But it's unlikely that it will be softer to sit on them than on a hard chair. You'd rather make a special throw pillow that will make it easier to sit in front of a computer for a long time. Cut out a rectangle from the middle of an old pullover. Turn the piece inside out and hot glue the edges. Leave a little hole. Use it to turn the fabric right side out. Sew some buttons, stitching them on both sides. It will help distribute the filler evenly. Fill the pillow with millet. Hot glue the hole, folding the fabric inside. Cut off four pieces of ribbon. Melt the ends and hot glue the middle of each ribbon to the corners. Put the throw pillow on the seat and tie the ribbons to the legs of the chair so that the pillow keeps in place. There you go! Now, that's quite a different story. Sitting in front of a computer on this massage throw pillow is a pure pleasure. Such an exciting movie, but I'm nearly falling asleep. The only thing left to do is to close my laptop and hang my headphones on a bright Lego stand. Take Lego bricks and make a square base. Make a tower. And add a wider platform to the top of the tower. Hang your gadget on it. The Lego tower will hold my headphones overnight. And I may have a rest until morning. I want to make an aged paper house covered with cracked paint. You can get this effect not only with special Crackalure lacquer, you can also use white glue. We can have a crack allure effect by using acrylic paint and paper glue. It is better to take the white glue and the paint used for woodworking projects, but not for paper crafts. They are thicker and less elastic, and that's just what we need for having a crack allure effect. Cover a blank cardboard house with acrylic paint. Let it dry. Apply a layer of white glue on top. Dry out the glue using a hairdryer until a film appears. Add one more layer of acrylic paint on top. Let it cure for 24 hours. You can speed it up using a hairdryer. The glue rips off the paint layer so that little cracks appear. Now, it's not just a house, it's an old mansion. Let's add some shade. Take brown eyeshadow and apply it to the surface. Shake off the excess and clean the facade with a napkin. The eyeshadow gets into the cracks and creates a vintage effect. It's marvelous! Make a simple candle decor using a regular hair dryer. Measure out the length of a candle on a decoupage napkin. Cut it out and wrap around the candle. Put on a glove so that you don't burn yourself and heat up the candle with a hair dryer. Wax melts under the influence of the hot air and sticks to the napkin. Fold up the edges. A decorative candle is ready. It's so easy to make and so beautiful. I love beauty too, so I've made a unique organizer for my jewelry collection. Bend a color paper clip so that it looks like a clothes hanger. Cut off the excess, fix up the shape. Make as many mini hangers as you need. Take big clothes hangers and hang the colorful baby ones on it. I hang my jewelry on the practical and funny mini hangers. It's a great and unusual organizer. The only thing I need is to find where to hang it. Do you hate cup ring marks on the tabletop? Use hot glue to make a bright and sparkly cup coaster. Smudge fatty cream over parchment paper. Make a floral pattern using your hot glue gun. Sprinkle with glitter while the glue is hot. Continue squeezing the glue to create a flower. Cover it with glitter. Add a couple of leaves. When cool, take off the flower. The gorgeous DIY cup coaster will protect your table from ugly ring stains. Enjoy your cup of tea with this stunning accessory. Be sure to subscribe to our channel Hit the like button and ring the bell so you don't miss new life hacks.